previously in the last episode. I can tell this guy used to play Counter-Strike, I'm pretty sure. I'm here, am I late? Hey, what's up, what's up? You're on the first game, you're in the first VOD. Yo, I was just saying, uh, did you come from Counter-Strike, Credo? I don't know if you told me that already, uh, but I feel like the way that you're playing, you, it seems like you played Counter-Strike before. Yes? Okay. See? Hey, I got an eye for these things. I got an eye for these things. I can tell the way that you're calming stuff and the way that you're peeking, you're you're coming from Counter-Strike. My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe, considering 80% of you guys are still not subscribed. I do these coaching sessions live, so you're more than welcome to swing by the stream and ask questions. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description. Click the book a lesson button and select your plan in time. Lastly, if you want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name and why you think you deserve it. I'll be picking out a person randomly. Other than that, enjoy the video. Okay, this is a good angle to hold, but I would hold it a little bit deeper. Yeah, this the, the, the switch angle, this angle right here is really good. Yeah. They're out, they're out, they're out, they're out, they're out. Three out, four out. Yup, yup. Site one. Okay, great patience. Great patience. Nice round. Spectre full armor, good. I'm surprised that you're only plat. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Overheat, baby. I would have done the same thing. Nice round. The KO is so fun. So these are good games. Okay, the wine play, I don't mind. I actually really like the wine play because you, you're at a gun disadvantage. You want to play more ratty, closer angles, right? It's good. It's good. You're in a good spot. Uh, crosshair placement, you need to be ready for them to hard clear you, right? Yeah. There you go. You need to be ready. I know you're staring at the minimap, but just be ready. I've been hard clear like this before. And I was molding because I'm staring at the minimap. I apologize for that. Um... Rain is just running and gunning one tap you like that. Yeah, I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Okay, you have ult this round. I would probably recommend playing offsite here because you have your ult. I feel like you were over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I, I see your thought process, right? You're like, well, my Phoenix is going in. I should help my Phoenix. After Phoenix dies, though, you shouldn't be holding an, a wide angle. I think this wide angle was the grief part. I would have held like a pixel angle here around the wall, went for the shot, and then dipped. I think you overcommitted to this one fight. I think that's like the big issue here. So then you get traded, right? You win the gunfight, but you get traded instantly. I, I'm not a fan of this overcommitment. You weren't really with Phoenix, so you couldn't really trade him. But yeah, I, I think you got caught here in a place you shouldn't have been because of what your teammate did. So either you you go, you literally pop ult there. Like you just pop ult and you go hard and you literally push up with the Phoenix or you guys just dip uh, or you let your Phoenix die and then you just kind of dip, right? I think you did a little half kind of in between. You, uh, you overcommitted to this angle. You got traded because of it kind of deal. Okay, I don't like this play. Okay, so in your, in your mind, I know you're thinking, well, they haven't seen me do this yet, so I want to try and do this. But two things. One, if they're close here, they actually hear you jump here. You get clear with a molly, and then you're forced to commit. Two, you have your ult. You want to be playing around your ult a lot more. When you have your ult, you're playing a lot more passive. You're not going to be able to get value out of your ult to the molly you here. You're going to get traded at best. Not a fan of this. So when you have your ult, you need to be playing a little bit differently. If you have your ult, your team is buying, enemy team is buying, you should be using it that round. Careful with the flashes here. I think this was a waste of a flash. Your flashes are so, so, so good with your pop flashes, right? I never waste them like this. Only throw your flashes if you plan on getting value out of them. I would hardly ever use them to stall. This is why you want to play offsite, right? And you want to play retake. Now you're stuck on site and you're not going to, you're not able to pop your ult, right? You just tuck here. I think your biggest issue is you're putting yourself in positions where you're getting put in one and done spots. I think that's your biggest issue. Oh, they're going to go up cat now? Two still mid. mid. 
I would have flashed this. I would have flashed this if you're going to go for this peak. This is your biggest issues. You're taking too many unnecessary gunfights and your, your positioning isn't ideal for you to get clean one, 1v1s. You get traded a lot, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I would have pop flashed if you are going to peek this. If not, give them sight completely. Retake as a team, pop your ults, and then go in, right? There's so much value out of your utility you're not getting. So utility usage and positioning a little bit. I tried to stop the mid to B, but wasn't sure to let them up or peek. You should just let them in. Let them in so you get value out of your utility or you pop flash and then go for one. So it's never a bad play to go for a pop flash. If you see nothing here, just dip, right? It's an opportunity that you, you could take, but like this is like, you get one at most. I always try to stop them as much. That's a Counter-Strike mindset credo, right? Cause like I need to stop them before they get into sight. But in this game, giving them sight isn't the end of the world. Counter-Strike, you fight a lot more. You want to stop them from committing into a sight and kind of retaking isn't really that good because they get situated and then it's, they have the util. It's tough, right? In this game, it's okay to just let them into sight and then retake with your ult, right? If you have that ult, right? But if you die without using it, that's the worst. Like you gotta be thinking of this way. Like if I fight this to stop them from pushing into B, it's riskier, but I have have like a power play i have my ult how do i use my ult this round right you all sh you should always be thinking how do i use my ult this round and popping your ult there and swinging mid you aren't going to get res you're not going to get value out of it okay so you need to put yourself in a situation where you can use your ult the best and the best is, is like retaking you swing wide when you're retaking you get downed or you get one you get downed your teammate can you up maybe and then you can re retake further right so always be thinking how do i how do i get value out of my utility the most in this game this game is a lot more utility based than counter-strike where counter-strike you just take these aim duels you take these fights you commit to a lot of fights in this game not so much Yo, looking clean check, check out my two months badge you can pop flash this whoa uh okay yeah 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 one i don't like the ults when your your team is saving oh you fat fingered okay okay well just so we know right you shouldn't be using your ults when you're saving and you should not be using it to stall either oh good fat finger i'm just i'm just i'm just gonna speak out loud that's a little bit shallow thing is with the the flashes in this game is not as your right clicks don't go as deep as they do in cs especially even when you carry a momentum you're a good spot though Oh, very good try. That's not going to get anyone. You, okay, almost always, as a rule of thumb on KO, just always, almost always pop flash. I think the entire time I did my initiator challenge speed run, I think I'd throw in a regular flash like that like five times or ten times. And that's only for my teammates. I would never flash for myself like that. Yo, he pushed me. Pop flash? Nah. Wow, I'm very surprised that worked. I'm surprised they got, got him. This guy's probably close. Oh, he could have jumped. He actually probably did, yeah. Very nice. Hey, that's that CS. Hey, that's that CS, you know? You had the right idea. Good stuff. No. See what I mean? You're not getting value. Then that's your... Dude, your flash is the best ability you have. I only like using flashes selfishly. Always be thinking, am I getting a free kill if they're blind? If not, then I'm not throwing it. Always think of it that way. I will play close here in the corner. If I hear steps, I'm throwing a pop flash and wide swinging. If I don't get a free one, I just dip and then fall off, right? It, but that's an opportunity for a free kill. Always be thinking of kills with your flashes, not stopping or stalling. Mollies are an exception, of course. Okay. Okay. Nice round. All right, all right, all right, all right. Pretty good, pretty good. Nice round. Careful with the lurk here. You gun out here and you go late. I think what you end up doing is you do a lot of lurking, which isn't bad. I, I love lurking and lurking is really good to do. How does, how do timings work? How does lurking work? And obviously like, I'm sure you already know coming from Counter-Strike, but you don't want to be the first point of contact, right? With lurk. You need to be, wait for your teammates to start making a shit ton of noise and they're out. After they're out, that's when I would start walking up, right? And cut noise, just cut noise entirely. You want to completely avoid 1v1s because there's agents that they can really benefit from them. Reyna, for example. We're lucky this is Jet, but they can benefit from 1v1s greatly they get a kill on you they overheal the round's done so staying alive is number one priority and not really so much getting a kill getting a kill is okay but if you get this kill on this jet is the round one no but if you create space pushed up into tree is the round one well you know now it, it looks like it right so that's how you should always
always think about it with these with these kind of plays. All right, main control has been achieved. Good. I'm holding well, your mid. Yeah, the only problem is you're by yourself. Again, I, I think the, the biggest issue is trying to take space by yourself. Anytime you're trying to take space and you should always have someone with you. I think working up cat here by yourself was risky, right? Like no one else on the map is presence are known, right? They're going to be holding everything. That's the problem with not waiting for your team to make contact before walking up an alert. I wouldn't even flash. I, I wouldn't even do that flash. Like, if, especially if they're smoking. You need to treat your flashes like crack. You need to hoard that shit. Imagine you're a crackhead in Florida. You need to keep that shit to yourself. You want to pop that thing where you can get a lot of value out of it. This flash for the cat, you don't get much. Okay, this is fine. We don't have smokes yet. We don't have smokes, and I think you committed to this fight a little bit early. Okay, so a couple things here. A couple things here with entering into the site. Checklist before pushing in. One, smokes. If smokes are not out, you do not push ever. Like, ever. Even if you get one kill, because you're just going to get mopped down by the rotates in this game. And I didn't like the way that you committed this. In this game, you don't really commit to too many fights, like, right away, unless your cross is really on them, right? So I would have bursted and strafed here. So focus more on bursting and strafing until your shots are on them, and then you commit to the spray. Don't just hop into a spray. That's a That is a counter-strike habit. Because in Counter-Strike, you commit to every fight, right? You commit to literally every single fight, almost, even far ranges. But this game is a little bit different. Your recoil resets faster. Again, pre your util, like, crack, man. You know what I mean? Like, both, you just wasted both flashes. And I'll, I'll show you when I would have liked for you to flash. You're in a good spot now. Ask for smokes. Huge. I think you're reloading. Sage on site. help Omen. Very nice. Very nice patience, actually. Spike down. One enemy remaining. Maybe one though. Don't do it. She was low. Don't do it. Okay, we all know this is not the right play. I think even you know this is not the right play. It worked, but 3v1, just play together. I think this overcommitment was a bit much. I would have immediately dipped. As soon as I heard the ult, I'm dipping. Okay, so in this game, you can do this like, you can dip really early. I feel like Counter-Strike, you have to commit a lot of time, right? And the rotations are a lot slower. But in this game, don't be afraid to just be like, ah, let's fall. Things are looking scary, dip, rotate. Just because it's not yours doesn't mean, oh, this is a good flash. That's a good one. Knife for spawn. Don't play yeah, here, please just play default. Play default. Okay, it was molding. Ah, uh, I think this is this is like overheating. But you have the aim for it, but just know that if you really want to secure a round, you would not be taking these like 1v1s when you have numbers advantage, man advantage. Thank you. I'm gonna be 20 in September. Wait. I'm here. I'm falling back to play for all. Let me play for all. Let me play for all. Let me play for all. Okay, can you play on site? I got flank. I got flank and I got all. No, 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 no. This was a grief. This was a very grief calm by your teammate. It's not bad to double up main and you kind of play off of your teammate here when they swing heaven. Nah, pushing back out like this was very super troll. Exposed by too many angles, right? All right, you guys ended up winning. All right, let's do a replay summary. Okay, so what did Credo do well in the session? Okay, a lot of things actually. So the main things that you did well: aim, cross replacement, peaks are good. You also have decent strats too, uh, where you know not we don't have to commit. Hey, let's split here. Somebody come with me. And playing around teammates, you usually do pretty good with that. So that's definitely your your strong points. All right, spend time practicing before the next session. Okay, so a couple of things that you I think you really need to work on is so one thing you don't want to be crouch peeking corners, right? It's not really good in this game. 
you kind of commit to a fight where strafing and bursting is definitely better your recoil resets faster in this game another thing too your timings your timings a lot of the time can be a little bit all over the place you want to wait for your teammates to really kind of commit to a site or make a lot of presence on the map before you start working up a spot so that's something right utility usage right you want to make sure that you're using your utility properly and and being very selfish with your flashes especially your flashes get you free kills a lot of times especially in plat your ults when you have your ults you want to find out what's the best way to play around my ult like if i have my ult on my ko we're going to be playing retake on a or b so position yourself in a way to do that you also want to stop taking a lot of 1v1 fights or put yourself in positions where you can get easily traded so that's like the biggest mistakes that i'm noticing that's all right we know we in chatty your channel is definitely you at your peak and you'll never be relevant now we got beef and now i'm here to settle it channel ain't growing you might want to pedal it you are like seven whole years to develop it i'm way above you and i'm not